Okay, so I'm gonna show you something. This is something that they should show every person that call that they answer the call and start believing in God. This is the promise to every believer, whether you just believe in God without Jesus or you believe in God and Jesus. This is the promise to everybody who believes in God, especially if you believe in God through Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 through 12. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will. Here, this is the King James Version. I'm going to go to a much easier to read version. This is what's called, I'm in U Version Bible app, so I'm going to go to Common English Version because this is very easy to read. Uh, excuse me, because I want you to understand what God is saying. What does it mean to worship God? Okay, is there any promises that come with worshiping God? Does God say he's going to do something if you do if you do something let's see where all that making deals with god come from and promises got with god come from this is the promise god makes to us as people who believe in god especially if you get baptized in the name of jesus deuteronomy 28 chapter one uh, deuteronomy chapter 28 verse one future blessing now if you really obey the lord your god's voice by carefully keeping all his commandments that i am giving you right now then the Lord your God will set you high above all nations on the earth. All these blessings will come upon you and find you if you obey the Lord your God's voice. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Your own fertility, your soil's produce, and your livestock's offspring, the young of both cattle and flocks, will be blessed. So God will just do all these things. First, he will give you Blessings from people in the city. People are just going to walk up to you and bless you, give you stuff, free food, discounts on stuff, your own fertility. God going to give you animals because when you're really blessed, you have animals. You have a farm for animals that make your own meat and um, um, farms for you to grow your own vegetables and fruit. Your basket and your kneading bowl will be blessed. You will be blessed when you are out, about, and blessed when you come back. So when you go outside, people are going to give you free food, free candy, free donuts, discounts on stuff. And when you come home, you'll be getting stuff in the mail from UPS, USPS. You'll be getting stuff you didn't even order. People will be sending you free stuff, credit cards that you didn't ask for that's already activated. All you got to do is call a number. The Lord will defeat any enemies who attack you. They will come against you from one direction, but will run for their lives away from you in seven different directions. Then when that girl tried to fight you, her and her friend came over there. God used that white dude. He slung that bitch on the ground, and then uh, all the rest of them were trying to fight, but then they all started running away. The Lord will command the blessing to be with you in your barns and all the work that you do, and he will bless you on the land your the Lord your God is giving you. Okay, God gave me this land. Okay, he gave me this land, 800 block. And then he gave me this land and he moved my daughter over here on this land. Hallelujah. And the money that come in from us, we all eating off of that. You know what I'm saying? We we buy food stamps. We buy food at both houses. You know what I'm saying? We blessed. And uh, we don't go home. That's why I was telling y'all last night, ain't no hungry lenders. You know what I'm saying? We blessed and highly favored. But the blessing is on me. So whoever come around me, that blessing be on you. And because y'all around me and y'all pray with me, the the Lord will command the blessing to be with you. Hallelujah. It's in your barns and all the work that you do. And he will bless you on the land the Lord your God is giving you. This land is temporary. He's getting ready to give us some different land. But the fact is, when God's blessing is on you, when God's favor is on you, it makes people not like you. It makes people hate you. Let's keep going. The Lord will establish you as his own, a holy nation, just as he swore to you if you keep the Lord your God's commandments and walk in his ways. But you got to see that. You got to keep his commandments and walk in his ways. What's his commandments? The commandments are the Ten Commandments. And what's his ways? His ways are the things that Jesus says and other things throughout the Bible. Being holy, believing what the Bible says, talking to God about what the Bible says, and continually praying, talking to God out loud. Not just praying, getting down on your knees and praying, but sometimes just sitting in a chair and talking to God. All the peoples will see that you are called by the Lord's name and they will be in awe of you. 
Okay, people being in awe of you ain't always a good thing because haters are in awe of the people they hate. That's why they hating on them. You ain't finna hate on no fake ass nigga. You're not finna hate on no bum ass nigga. You're not finna hate on no nobody. So people who hate always hate on people who God have ordained to be great, who God have called to be great, who God has his favor on their life and they bless, bless and highly favor. God's favor make people hate you and they will be in awe of you. The Lord will make good things abound for you, whether the fertility of your womb, your livestock's offspring, or your fertile soil's produce on the very land that the Lord swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open up for you his own well-stocked storehouse, the heavens, providing your land with rain at just the right time and blessing all your work. So whatever work you do, he going to bless the work of your hands. If you open a business, he going to bless that business. You will lend to many nations, but you won't have any need to borrow. Hallelujah. The Lord will make you the head of things and not the tail. You will be at the top of things, not the bottom. As long as you obey the Lord's God, as long as you obey the Lord, your God's commandments that I am commanding you right now by carefully doing them. Don't deviate even a bit from any of these words that I'm commanding you right now by following other gods or serving them. He say, don't do none of that, because if you do any of that, then this comes to play. I'm not going to read this. This is why so many people are living bad lives right now, because they're under these curses. These curses come on you if you don't do what I just read right now. And so doing this really is not that hard. It seems hard because people make it make it seem like it's a bad thing. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, uh, daughter. Hallelujah. Can't turn it around. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, children, y'all not children. I'm gonna tell you, young adults, daughters and sons, it's not hard as you can see. You see, I continuously live in a life filled with miracles. Every day, some kind of miracle takes place in my life. Some kind of miracle takes place in your life. Sometimes you might think it's little, but all miracles are big. Hallelujah. And God do miracles in your life, my life, and, he, and they're increasing more and more and increasing in size and range. And the more you play your part as a person who worship God and believe in Jesus, the more God is freed up to do better things and release more blessings into your life and the lives of your friends and loved ones. But sometimes God runs people out your life because people don't mean you no good and they're blocking your blessings. So that's why we must pray about these things. And you got to pray for your boyfriends, pray for your girlfriends, pray for your associates. If you're going to go on a road trip with somebody, you got to pray for them too. Anybody that you spend part of your life with, you got to pray for them because the principalities work through personalities. And when they can't get you, they get your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your next door neighbor, your coworker, your your, your boss, your roommate. They get anybody that, that's not you that they can work through that's not saved or covered in the blood. So um, if you do these things, your life is going to be changed and God going to bless you and open these doors up for you. But you got to be consistent. You got to read the Bible every day and read at least one line out the Bible. If it's just one sentence out the Bible every day and say to God what you will do for him if he do these things for you. People say don't make deals with God, but fuck them. Tell God what you will do for him if he do these things. If you if you tell him what the one big thing is that you would that you want him to do for you and also how it's gonna help him advance the kingdom of God, which means win souls, lead young people to Jesus, or cause people to give their life to Jesus and get baptized. Shalom.